Hi everybody. Today we're going to talk about three things that you should consider as you enter into a mentoring relationship as a mentor. If you decided to be a mentor, congratulations. This is one of the, the best things, the most uh, rewarding things that you can do in your career is to mentor others. And the first thing that you need to understand is the nature of mentoring. What is this thing called mentoring? It's different from coaching. It's different from counseling. It's different from performance management. Mentoring implies that you're coming in with a level of experience. You're probably a little bit older than the person that you're mentoring and certainly you've kind of been there and done that. That's the nature of mentoring. You're trying to impart your experience, uh, your uh, ups and downs in your career and, and help the person that you're mentoring understand and learn from that and guide them along a path of development. It's different than coaching. Coaching, you're really leaving a lot of the responsibility to the person that you're coaching. A mentoring relationship is one of really teacher and student or, or guide. You're a guide as a mentor, so keep that in mind. The second thing that you want to think about is how to clarify the objectives for the mentoring relationship. It's, it's important to establish that with the person that you're mentoring. And while most mentoring relationships, broadly speaking, all have a common set of objectives, typically it's about career advancement or career development, you wanna make sure that you're very clear with your mentee, the person that you're mentoring, uh, about what the objectives are that they have and how you'll proceed going forward. The third and final area to consider is how you can gather some good information to get started. As a mentor, one of the best things that you can do is to do some pre-meeting research before you have that first engagement with your mentee. So talk to the, the mentee's manager. If it's appropriate, talk to some peers. Really just do some background research and some information before that first meeting. Even um, offer up a questionnaire uh, if that's appropriate. Uh, maybe have the mentee do something like a behavioral or a personality test or a learning profiles test. So get some information going into that first uh, discussion. Even within the first, second, or third discussion, ask a bunch of questions as a mentor. Uh, don't try to be uh, overly inquisitive, but you want to get enough information where you have a solid foundation for yourself on who this person is, where their strengths and development opportunities are so that you can use that in the mentoring process. Thanks for watching. Click on the Noodle Factory icon to subscribe to our channel and also check out the other great Manager 365 videos that we know you'll find helpful.